Willie Parks Sr. was born in 1833, just outside of Musselburg, Scotland. Willie Park honed his game on the links while working as a caddy. With his unorthodox club, he quickly started out driving and out putting other caddies who had far more advanced equipment. According to legend, he would often challenge club amateurs to matches in which he'd use only one hand or stand on one foot, and he would never lose. In 1860, the Open Championship was born. Clubs around England and Scotland were each invited to send up to three professional players to compete in the event. It was there, on the hills of Prestwick, Scotland, where Willie Park and Tom Morris squared off for the first ever challenge belt. Park won the legendary inaugural match, beating the local favorite by two strokes. He triumphed in the Open Championship three more times. He's a, a figure there in the pantheon of gods. He was the first winner, and therefore a very important personality in the game of golf. Tonight, we have with us a member of the hall who followed in Willie Park's footsteps with his own open triumph in 1969. He's the consummate champion and gentleman from the United Kingdom. Please welcome Hall of Fame member, Mr. Tony Jacklin. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say what a privilege and pleasure it is for me to be back in this wonderful place. And uh, to say that uh, Willie Park Senior was a pioneer is almost an understatement. There was very little happened before him. And so I'm sure uh, you'll forgive me if my remarks are not overly long. But uh, as a the thing that strikes me about him, as a 21-year-old as a in uh, 1854, he started challenging uh, old Tom Morris to matches uh, uh, around uh, St. Andrews and Musselburgh for 100-pound challenge matches. And these matches, prior to the Open Championship, were followed by crowds of five and 6,000 people. I mean, it's incredible to think about that today. And uh, the thing that strikes me about him, he was uh, very sure of himself, as, uh, well, a lot of us were when we were 21. Uh, <laughs> memories. Um, the first, as Peter Thompson said, is always gonna be the first, and as long as this game is played, he will always be that. Um, he had a big family, he had nine children. Uh, the eldest son won the Open twice. He, of course, won it three more times. Uh, he prevented old Tom Morris winning the belt outright. Uh, old Tom won uh, the second and third championships, and then uh, Willie stepped in with the fourth, preventing Tom winning the belt outright. So. You know, he was a real player. He was a gambler. He made, his, he made his money as a professional gambling. There was reference to his, his club uh, that wasn't as well tooled as some of his fellow professionals. Well, that was a stick with a crooked end, and he became very clever at manipulating the golf ball with that. He was a long driver, and he was a fantastic putter. Uh, they reckon from anywhere within, I think it was his son, Junior, that quoted uh, the words, a good putter is a match for anybody. So uh, this was a well-rounded man. He, he, he didn't enjoy great health. Uh, he, he died at 70. There are pictures and I've compared them. He didn't look, uh, he looked older than old Tom Morris, who was older than himself in his latter years. But he was a real pioneer of the game. He did some golf course design with his son. His son, of course, became a prolific designer, de designed a, 120 or more courses, and uh, they collaborated on a number of those. Olympia Fields over here was one of their collaborations. One of my favorites in the UK, Sunningdale, was another great golf course. Formby in Lancashire was another one they collaborated on. He's, uh, 
a real pioneer, as I've said. He's left an indelible mark on this game, and it's a privilege for me to be here to introduce him tonight. Thank you very much for your attention.